Welcome back to you, Muffin. We have crypto's juiciest news. Grayscale, warning, warning, have sent 9,000 Bitcoin to Coinbase ready to dump. Let's explore what's been going on. Of course, we are looking at the Bitcoin chart right now, friends. It's been pumping and it's dumping, but it's actually been doing nothing. You see, we've got this little base going right around here. But once again, we always go back to the weekly chart where it's nice and clean. And we can see that Bitcoin is just stalling out. And just to re refer back to our previous videos, what does everybody want? Everyone wants the crapo death, sell the news, or they want trillions of dollars to be ushered in. Okay, that's what everyone wants. So most likely, everyone wants that. We probably just get a repeat of this where it's like, no, it's over. No, it's not. No, it's over. Okay, okay what comes next? Well, if we repeat the previous cycles, it's up only. The problem is the stock market, friends. Now, I hope this happens, by the way. I really hope that happens because at the end of the day, it is possible that the stock market doom crash happens when Bitcoin's at a much higher base for the whole crypto industry. But we don't know. That's we don't know. I don't ever want to give you this false sense of illusion where you, it's okay to do leverage and to be on super risky things. Okay. Now, if you're in altcoins, spot altcoins, to me, that's the least risky of all. If you haven't pumped, that's fine because that is non-crowd consensus. Crowd consensus though, with leverage is Bitcoin and Metherium's. That is crowd consensus. Please don't use leverage. Of course, friends, everybody is like, this is the first moving average, right? This this line always gets touched. Basically, it's, just, it's a 21 EMA. This, this line always gets touched. So it's just a matter of time before it comes and breaches it. But we did touch that Fibonacci level, right? It's so critical to be aware of that. But what is even more critical is the Bitcoin dominance. Look, friends, we're still so close. I have a feeling it's just going to happen soon. I mean, look at this. This just clearly, this is what we want to see. If this goes down, right, this pings down, you're going to see this line flip up. This is the super trend. There'll now be a red super trend. And then basically you get to see, hey, 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 the market's done with Bitcoin. And look, I've never in my life as a squirrel holding my own nuts seen it this clear. It's like we've had up only. The US Fed has held rates. Now they're about to cut, okay? They're about to cut, market pumped. We get a Bitcoin ETF approval right on the 61.8% retrace right here. So we go up only, we get an ETF approval right there. So yes, <laughs> right here and the Fed's cutting rates. And you are now seeing on-chain transactions from yours truly, your friend here with a straight posture telling you, Grayscale's dumping. But it's not really them dumping. It's like, they are scum, friends. You can't trust them. But at the end of the day, look, they did provide a good black hole for the industry. So I can't really call them scum. So look, it's good. It's good. Uh, I'll think about it later. But the, look, they will betray us. <laughs> they have betrayed us. It's basically, it's the government's kitty now. And they've had to sell because of the cash redemptions for, for, um, for, from the corrupt SEC and what's happening in court. Having a quick look at the bubbles as well, friends, you're going to see a lot of things pump up. Wow, Pulsex is moving. Isn't that great? Look, a lot of these coins are going to move up and down. These bubbles are good. Sometimes I just have a look at them to see what's going on. If you remember Tau, T-A-O, I just want to remind you of something, okay? Tau, friends, the Tau community came for me hard. When did they come for me? At the top. I was telling them, look, man, I know you think you got the best tech in the world. Guess what? When my coins go up, I got the best tech in the world too. Dog with a hat has literally the best technology in the whole game. It did a 14,000 X in like 30 days. Okay. But at the end of the day, just be careful. All I'm saying is just be careful. I'm just telling you, look, is your market cap's already 1.5 billion. Okay. But people say, no, you don't get it. You don't get it. It's trillions of dollars demand. Yes, man. I don't care about that tech. I don't care about all the people holding the big bags tell you. I care about you. And what I'm telling you is... Don't fall in love with any technology. That's it. The only thing you're allowed to actually fall in love with is a community. But guess what? In the community, you never really can trust them, can you? Because you know 90% are sweet. But the bottom 10% in any market, any community, they'll basically run out as soon as the building starts going on fire. They lose their minds. That's them, that's them, them paper handing. But then they can come back in. Just you've got to wait through the cycle, okay? So we've, that's what we're seeing. Bitcoin hovering $43,000 as grayscale, right? It sent the 9,000 Bitcoin to dump on Coinbase. We even have the transactions here as well. We see all these transactions, okay? So it's got to do with this, okay? It's got to do with the fact that 
They had to sell spot Bitcoin because the corrupt SEC requires the cash redemption. So look, this is all programmed in, friends. So just to let you know, bullish unlock selling. We all have a joke here. We're going to play some nice angel music for everyone who thinks it was by the rumor, by the news. <sighs> I think it's going to trick everyone out. I think if we just go sideways here in range and then we get the Bitcoin dominance flop, which is Ethereum going and pumping to the moon, I think it's going to trick a lot of people. But you know who else tricked people though? Me with some Pokemon cards. That's right, friends. This is actually the most breaking news of all. I might even make just another video dedicated to it. Gary Cardone, right? Gary Cardone. So you don't recognize Gary. This is Gary. Okay, now you recognize Gary. Gary is Moltres, legendary Firebird Pokemon. Okay, it's... <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. Let me get the Pikachu hat. <laughs> and here we are. It started as a joke. I've got to show you this again. It started... This is how it started... Okay, that's how it started. How do you think it's going? <laughs> it got confirmed. Gary down here has an Ethereum address, GaryCardone.eth. He's transferred $2 million into Pulse Chain. Now, deep down, I, <laughs> I'm in disbelief personally, complete disbelief, Wall Street cheat sheet. I'm still thinking it's a troll. But I'm thinking, which troll is bridging $2 million over for a Pokemon card meme. God bless you. If, the, if you're actually out there, if you bought Gary Cardone's name to do this, I, <laughs> I can't tell you how much I love you because, friends, I literally, I'm dying of laughter. I can't tell you, okay? I just, I'm bouncing off the walls. I just, how, where are we? What's going on here? We're going to need to <laughs> go through another video. It's true. It's, it's actually how it started, how it's going. Okay, how it started was Gary Carter and his brother Grant, friends, they're worth a billion dollars. So they're like real estate, Chad Tycoons. I, I'm, I'm still in shock. I can't, <laughs> I told you, I told you, the memes, friends, the memes. We got Blockchain Boy. We got him in, okay? We got him in fast. He got it. He adapted, okay? And now, who knows who next? who's next, man? I can't wait to see. I've got to remind you about our Pokemon team as well, friends. This is our Pokemon team. We literally have Funding Gary, Zapdos. We have Gary Cardone, Moltres, and then we have Grant Cardone, Articuno, of course. Or they have, okay, they have Cryptozara's George and Turnvase. They're two little Rattatars, and all they can do, look at their, look at their attack moves, friends. It's literally gnaw the wound. This is, it's the most perfect Pokemon card of all. All you can do is gnaw the wound. Isn't that, that just, if you know anything about Crypto, friends, just to tell you, Bitcoin Maxi's only talking point is, ha ha, you're going to zero. That's it. Everything else is going to zero. So whenever there's a red candle, they go, well, golly gee, I guess the chickens are coming home now finally to roost their eggs because Bitcoin is sucking up all that liquidity. No, it's not. It's making lower highs every cycle. But you know what's not making lower highs every cycle, making higher highs now? Richard Hart's coins, Richard Hart has continued to gain strength, friends. He is now inviting the haters publicly to get short on Pulse, Pulse X, and Hex. I'm going to make another video dedicated to that. I think it's worthy of that. But as a quick summary, he's basically talking about Bucks, um, Bucks Protocol, Fame and Famous. And just to let you know, friends, I'm not allowed, I'm not allowed if I can, I don't know if I can say the word on here, but yeah, if you see screenshots on, on, on Twitter and stuff, so Bucks basically blocked everybody, and he calls me the, the child abuser P word. And it's it started because I it started because I basically said everyone did I don't care what your words are on the internet I really I don't give a damn what anyone really says okay I know there's bigger things at play we're here with a role we're here to grow the community anyone just talking this flip flap chickity chack in Telegram words mean nothing and they go oh, they basically baited me everyone says like, oh yeah I'm gonna call you I'm gonna call you the p word I'm gonna call you like the r word I'm gonna call you all these nasty things and I just started doing it. I just don't really care. <laughs> it's, I don't really care, friends. Who cares? We got the best companions of all. We're literally catching the rarest Pokemons here. We've got a job to do, okay? Who cares about calling these names and stuff on the internet? Now, this is also funny. A new Hex influencer has appeared, Altcoin Gordon. Now, Altcoin Gordon, he's got like 500K followers. I'll just quickly show you over here. And what happened, friends, this is the actual funniest part. Okay, I'm just going to show you what happened. So right here, so Altcoin Gordon, he made a post. A few posts, actually, now that I'm saying, he's made a few posts basically fighting like Richard Hart. He goes, you have to let one of these men manage your portfolio. There are others that he's done as well, okay? He's just joking about like Pulse Chain. Here it is, here it is. He goes, Hex is an amazing project. The man behind it is a genius who only cares about helping people. The man behind it. And he's showing that. So I don't, 
I don't know. I'm sure he posted that, not actually seeing the green candles. It just so happens on his feed, he just starts seeing people talk about it more. So what ends up happening after that is he hits number one social rankings. That's why we're here to say jackpot. If you know the Naga Bo meme, he says jackpot, bitch. So it works, friends. I'm telling you it works. Like Richard Hart's seed, okay, no pun intended, of just being planting the outrage marketing it felt real bad during the bear market, real bad. A lot of people still today do not agree with it. But look, man, I know if you have a five-year view, if you could teleport friends in five years and not look at the price chart, so just be perfectly honest with me, you might disagree with the tactics, but I'm just telling you, if you did not have to live in the year 2022, three, four, five, and just come back to 2026, and you had a path, either an outrage marketing world or a non-outrage marketing world, for attention grabbing, that's your goal. Attention grabbing, you choose the outrage marketing world. It's just that you don't, you personally, you want it to happen and get everyone's attention. You don't want to watch it though. And you don't want to watch your price go down. You just want to teleport to the future. So that's why he really does delay gratification. He does do that. You know, also you got to deal with the whole things like Eric Wall and everyone else doing like psychological analysis on Richard saying he thinks he's the cool kid at school and he's finally got to the money. They're trying to do like this, some Dr. Feel analysis when I guess we'll see. We'll see a Dr. Phil analysis when I show you big fat green candle like this. And they're just starting, okay? Now, of course, put on a log chart, make it look nicer. We don't really care. Eric's going to lose his bet up here. I hope it continues. Remember, we flipped green on the weekly super trend. You can't fake this, mess. This is huge, okay? This is a weekly super trend flip. It, it's literally go time. You got to see, right, firsthand. I remember I made a video to telling you about it. I go, it, it's very hard to reverse the move, you need a lot of firepower to reverse a weekly super chain, whether it's up or down. And you got to see the pulse chain sacrifice money moves in. $20 million have now moved in. I made an alert signal before. And all of these things start coming out. Like quickly, just uh, uh, more updates because I've got more coming later on too. The pulse chain sacrifice wallet. So the OA related all the wallets. They've moved $20 million over again. Now, I haven't checked to see what's been the follow-up on this and what they've actually been doing, but... They're actually been moving, making some moves. Also, I saw KDP posted a Telegram channel where they basically have all the wallets tracked and you can just go in and join. I haven't joined it. Some people say it wasn't working yet, but look out for it. So you could join it. It'll tell you like Zero X Coast, Bank X, just the biggest, biggest known wallet whales. If you just go in there and if they're making any moves, you get to see, including the Pulse Chain and OA SAC wallets. And, you know, I think that's why we po focus on the positives for the news first, because this is the reality of crypto, all right? The, re the dream of crypto is, oh, sweet, we all go up only, everyone joins a network, and no one leaves. Sweet. The reality, though, is much different. See, TUSD has de-pegged. Bang. This, this is just a very rough reality. Now, look, it hasn't de-pegged. It's not the end of the world. It's down 1%, but it's not nice. To <laughs> it, friends, it's literally like your house. That's what people think of stable coins and the US dollar, right? You have your house. Now, your house, technically, if I blew off a chip of your house with a bomb, if I literally just bombed your house in the corner, the top right corner on the front of the house, technically, you can still sleep in there, you can still eat, and everything's fine. Technically, okay? You're taking a bit of chip damage. But psychologically, you are ruined and you want to get out of there. Okay, that's exactly what's happening with stable coins when they just depeg once. It is truly mayhem. That's why the government must defend the sanctity of their dollars at all costs. And the true USD, right? There's been like fight around that's like reserve backing and all these events. You gotta be real careful. Now, here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. I'm just speculating, friends, because I sniff a lot of chairs out there. If I was a duck named Richard Hart and the, the sacrifice basically all got wrecked, okay, not now but during the times, the next wallet sacrifice I would do is a stablecoin project where you earn fees in the stablecoin because everybody's in. You get everyone's money and you are getting to like own a stable coin and earn the fees in it, earn the fees in everybody's borrowing and lending if he was to create a stable coin. And now he says he has a unique idea to do it. He's not going to tell anybody. He, I remember this from one stream, I think three years ago. I still remember this. He mentioned, he goes, oh, I've got, go, got a cool idea for a stable coin. I'm not going to tell anyone though. So 
if he was to do that, think about everybody putting in and what that would do. They, it's a stable coin, right? So it's like you don't have to worry about the coin going down. You have the option to have the stable coin and earn yield. And now, of course, just to tell you, right, stable coin ideas, friends, we don't really know. I haven't really checked the big market cap for it. Make a doubt's huge, right? But we have make a doubt. We've got the, you know, P die. <laughs> is it a meme? Is it not? But his idea and stuff, I don't know how much you could really get out of stable coins just because you're limited. So stable coins, you're really limited by the liquidity rails coming in and there's no like market cap leverage. It's one for one. It's basically analog. It's like, okay, like for example, the only way for you to get a hundred million dollars of value for a stable coin is for a hundred million dollars of actual money come in. That doesn't work like that in markets with, with liquidity and market caps and everything else and capitalization. So, you know, Bitcoin, for example, if it's at 800 billion market cap, it did not get $800 billion of money net in coming in. Bitcoin's liquidity is only is like 1% of that. It's, um, what is it, like $800 million. That's actually how much it is, $800 million. So you're thinking, yeah, so you're like scared, right? Like what the hell, $800 million is supporting this whole thing. Yeah, it's just how markets move, right? But see the value created is because humans, we always think about the future growth. What's the growth in a stable coin, right? You basically... You're stable. That's that's the problem. Okay, that's we're not in crypto for a stable coin, but it just makes you think about the potential ideas out there. And then speaking of potential ideas, Moody's likes the idea right of tokenized funds out there. So this is like tokenizing their funds. Be, they could swap around. They can do a lot of things, opening themselves up to crypto. Obviously, it's not going to be decentralized, but it just gives it, it gives you an idea of how trash. The traditional system is it's literally an old database. No one can do anything. There's thousands of signatures. It's just it's just a better system. It's just a cleaner system. And of course, we are a bit biased because we are desperately long and need a 10x from here and then another 10x, please. But that's the game, right? Also, this is bullish. Ethereum, Chainlink, anything EVM, anything smart conscious, the whole industry. It's bullish. It's a bullish undertone. Okay, it's a bullish undertone. It doesn't necessarily give you a price pump anyway. It just means, oh, sweet, we're not going to zero. But you didn't need me to tell you that, do you? You can just look at the price chart. You go, oh, sweet. We mean, Bitcoin's been going up for a year already. It's not going to zero. Okay, that's what you need to focus on. Juicy news, friends. This is juicy news. Okay, so fake DeFi Uniswap. Okay, remember, fake DeFi Uniswap have fake governance token Uni. The token does nothing. But in the token's code, okay, there is a line in there of text and it's a protocol fee switch. It basically says, once this magic button is pressed, instead of the liquidity providers getting a certain amount of money, we're gonna remove a bit of that money and that's gonna go somewhere. It's a fee. So instead of 0.3%, 0.30, it'll become 0.25 for the people, but then that 0.05 extra percent will go somewhere else. Now you think, oh, what's 0.05%, friends? If this fee was activated when they should have done it at the end of 2020, at the beginning of 2021, I already calculated what Uniswap's price should be. Its market cap today is freaking shocking. Okay, Uni is all the way down here at 5 billion atrocious market cap. Literally, absolutely garbage, okay? It should be, I, I'm not making this up, I make calculated it, it would be above Tether it would be worth 125 billion market cap. And all I did was I did their volume and then I did the fee on the net volume that they've done in that time and I would have done it just buying and burning. That's it. Buying and burning and you just estimate how much um, it would get in terms of like the, um, in terms of just, you know, chewing up the offers and roughly the liquidity provided. Yeah, it would, it, that's, it, would be, it would be the number three biggest crypto. And it should be, right? Think about it. Like Uniswap, one of the greatest inventions. We, everybody needs a desk, DEX, okay? Great formula, great everything. Such a wasted potential. That's why I had big, big, big portfolio weight in uni in the last cycle. I was like, man, they're going to do it. They're financially incentivized to increase their power and just and, and really go for it and, and turn on the free switch. They never did. They never did. They did nothing. It was, oh, golly gee, we're going to backstab the whole industry and we're going to suck off Gary Gensler. That's exactly what they did, but disgusting. But then you look at it from their perspective, which I don't like doing, but you have to. They already made a billion dollars. Okay, The insiders, the founder made like 500 million, 600 million plus. They don't need 
to risk anything with the corrupt SEC and the government and say they are fighting for liberty and freedom and real DeFi, which is what Richard Hart's doing, funny enough. It's funny enough, friends. No one calls uh, Hayden a scammer, and everyone calls Richard Hart a scammer. Hayden is literally, okay, the Uniswap Labs team, Habibs, they're literally in bed with the corrupt SEC, backstabbing the whole freaking industry. They're literally, they're teaching the corrupt SEC, they're showing them that they're, basically what they're doing is the corrupt SEC, you haven't figured it out yet, they're gathering info for JP Mosquito, okay, who controls them. So, and they're basically just rendezvousing so that they can take over the crypto industry. That's what they want to do. They want to find out, oh, what's this Uniswap? Teach us everything, what you know, how everything works. Can we do this? Can we do that? That's what's actually going on. And Uniswap, hey, I can't figure it out what's going on here. They're shooting themselves in the foot. It is what it is, okay? So that is what's been happening. That's the whole story to give you the backdrop. And then obviously you have Richard Hart coming in saying, your token sucks. It does nothing. That's why Pulsex exists, friends. That's why Pulsex it's a beautiful, it's already ticked up, breaking news, 3.21% has been bought. Once again, bought off the market. People still don't know the tokenomics is to buy it off the market. Every time there's a trade, it routes and it buys it off the liquidity. Bang, it's on the supermarket shelf. So yes, theoretically, you could put like a million dollars worth of Pulsex inside market on the offer and the market will just keep chewing you up, chewing you up with every single trade, slowly, slowly. So with Uni, are they ever gonna put the protocol fee switch or not? Is it too late? I don't really know. But there is a proposal. So there's this thing called the Gauntlet Report. And they said that this is the such so, so trash. Uh, is this a paid for report, friends? Because now I'm just thinking about it. You know, in the, in the medical industry in America, for example, um, when they, or medicine as well, when they want, they have a conclusion already. They go, okay, just tell everybody this thing's bad. And what they'll do is they'll handpick four soy boy journalists and, and scientists, right? That all they'll just pay them. They go, hey, you drink protein, but for this week you're drinking soy, right? And so they'll pay them that. And what they'll do is they'll just they'll literally just make up an experiment which says that that thing is trash. So I'm questioning if this gauntlet report has done the same thing with Uniswap because their report says, and I quote, if you put the protocol fee switch to help the uni holders and people and be an actual crypto that helps and generates revenue for everyone and, and value. If you implement that, it would reduce liquidity provider yield. It would decrease the liquidity all around Uniswap and it would put bigger slippage for traders, which is bad. And then a potential loss of volume. So what I've done is given a big fat middle finger. I've given him a clown emoji. Okay, Polsex is a better casino to own. So instead of speculating on Uni or this, but I don't give a shit. Okay, you guys are trash. You guys are scum. Thank you for the real DeFi Uni V2. Everything after that, you basically suck. Okay, so I'm just thinking about the potential now of the rest of crypto because, see, friends, Uni. Oh man, it's wasted potential. I literally, I have a video called Uniswap, the biggest wasted potential. It was uploaded, I think, it was a few months ago, it was last year, maybe just August or something. Man, that that broke my heart to actually sit there and calculate what you should have been. Right, I was literally, it was meant to be the winning lottery ticket. But you know what? I don't have any regrets personally because it was such a perfect lineup: crypto, DeFi, first cycle coin for Uni. You go all in, right? No, you didn't go all in, but you put a big weight in. They have a protocol fee switch. The volume is increasing every single three months. Surely they're going to do it. They never did it, okay? And the market went, see you later. Well, the market was them. The insiders dumping and everything else, okay? So this brings us to where we are today. Now you get to see we don't have to wait for these bums to think about helping the people. We don't have to wait. We've got someone like, don't want to say it, Richard Hart out here. He's like, okay, sweet. You want this token like this? Sweet. We'll do it. It's got a buy and burn. There's a community. There's everything going on. And you're early. I like that. Pulsex has no governance thing. Okay. It has none. It's literally just you hold it. It gets scarce every day. No inflation. So big advantages, friends. But you know what? Most people don't give a damn. All right. But they'll give a damn when the candles are here and they'll look around and go, oh, golly, gee. The hexagons and Pulse Chain community are actually the loudest and having the most fun in crypto. Make sure you like, subscribe, bit button, all catch you soon.